What is happening guys? Welcome back to the Terrier Owner YouTube channel. Josh here with TerrierOwner.com. We've got Luna out here as well, the typical co-host of the show here. We appreciate you coming back to the channel and today guys we are going to cover something I think that a lot of people want to know more about which is fruits that you can offer your Jack Russell without running into any issues. Some people like offering you know fruits, veggies, and other kind of human food so to speak for their dogs. So this video is about a few specific fruits that you can consider giving your Jack Russell if you please. We'll talk about the specifics of quantities and what you need to be aware of, but that is what you can expect in this video. So be sure to stick around so you know all of the fruits that I recommend you give a try. Be sure that if you are new to the channel and you like this kind of content, give us one of those thumbs up on this video. That helps me and Luna out immensely on YouTube, get seen by others that own a terrier that need to see these videos for the help. Much appreciated when you do that. Never forget to check out terrierowner.com. And if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, consider doing so now so that you can catch all of our newest videos as they come out. And now let's go ahead and dive into these fruits that I recommend for your Jack Russell Terrier. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you just kind of a quick list here and we'll go through some of them, but one of the first sets of fruits that you can consider for your Jack Russell are some of the most basic fruits, which makes it a lot easier on you. There is a few things that you need to do when you're offering the fruit, but fruits like apples, bananas, blueberries, cantaloupe, cucumber, if that's a fruit, is that a fruit, Luna? I don't know either. And oranges are all fruits that can be offered to your dog. I don't know every single fruit and I've never tried all of them, so I wanna cover some of the basic ones just to kind of put your mind at ease. But those fruits we just talked about are all fruits that are viable to give your dog either as a treat or maybe a little bit of a diet supplement. One of the things though that you do need to keep in mind that if you do this is moderation is pretty key. You're not gonna to wanna to give them massive amounts of any of these fruits, especially if they're water-based, because that could cause things like diarrhea, it could upset their belly, and you want them sticking to their primary food. That is one of the biggest keys I have for you is don't ever let you know something like fruit overtake what they should be eating because their primary dry food or their wet food is where they're getting a lot of their main nutrients from. Fruits are just great at offering other key vitamins and nutrients for them like vitamin C, etc. Another thing to keep in mind guys is this is clearly a small dog, right? So they don't take these gigantic bites. I know they have a gigantic personality and it seems like they would, but be mindful with the portion size that you're giving them. It's not just about moderation in the amount or frequency you're giving them, but cut it up into bite-sized pieces that make sense. This dog is fearless. If you give it, you know, an entire cantaloupe, it's probably gonna try and eat it in three bites. I know my big dog would do that. And you don't wanna deal with something like choking or hacking on the fruit when they're doing that. So keep it small, keep it in moderation, make it as if it's a treat or a supplement for them, not as like a primary meal, but they most likely will love it. I know when Luna does get some of those fruits, she enjoys it greatly and it's perfectly okay to do. There's vegetables you can do. There's a lot of human food that's actually okay, shockingly for a dog. You know, you don't wanna teach them to be eating dinner off of your table by any means, but you don't have to limit their life to just blue buffalo dry food either. You know, you can mix it up, let them have a little bit of luxury with some of the fruits that they enjoy and you don't always have to worry that it's gonna do any harm to them. Again. There are things to always stay away from that might not even fall into the fruit category. I don't know every single one of them. I'm not a vet. I know things like uh, onions and garlic are no-nos. I believe that is just because of the substance itself is considered toxic um, or can cause major issues with them stomach-wise. So you need to do a little bit of research. I always recommend that if you're a little bit nervous that you contact a vet or speak to a breeder that knows this extremely well. I just know the fruits that I've mentioned are safe. Again, a quick recap on those is apples, bananas, blueberries, some of the most common ones you're probably always going to find around your house. You know, other ones like cantaloupe, cranberries, and cucumbers. Pretty safe, but a few of those I mentioned are still water-based or could cause things such as diarrhea. So another tip that I have for you, if you're going to offer fruit to your Jack Russell is let them out, you know, relatively quickly after. I'm not talking immediately, but if, you know, they just ate a bunch of, you know, banana slices or something like that, you might want to let them go potty 20 or 30 minutes especially if they're still pretty young, it might run right through them. Again, that doesn't mean it's necessarily causing an issue, but I mean, how big is this dog really? How big do you think their intestinal tract is? It doesn't take long for a regular food to run through them, let alone a water-based food that they don't get every day. Use a little common sense with that. Don't overdo it. Keep it in moderation. And if you don't feel 100% comfortable, contact somebody who will make you feel comfortable. Right, Luna? 
Guys, I know this video was pretty quick, but I had a tough time this week keeping it to only one video. I wanted to get two out still this week instead of going to the one just on Sunday, so it was kind of a bonus video, so to speak. I had something I wanted to talk about with Luna here, so we made an extra one this week. I promise eventually we're gonna get to that one a week setup, but enjoy it while it's here, I guess. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, consider doing so now. Again, guys, as a reminder, thumbs up is the best gesture you can give me and Luna here. Helps us out dramatically, get seen by others on YouTube, so please do that if you have not done it already. And the same goes for visiting terrierowner.com. Don't forget to go check that out. That also helps us out immensely. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for stopping by and we will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Say bye, Luna. Say bye. It's almost bedtime, huh?